Hi, Brandon Taylor here with After Buzz TV, and I'm with Miss Sarah Lee. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank <laughs> you. It's really safe to say that you're one of the the fan favorites on this show. Mm -hmm. What is it about you that people can relate to? You know, I don't, I don't know. Miss <laughs> um, <laughs> Charlotte's funny. Um, you know, maybe just because I, before I came down here, before all this competition and everything, um, I was just a student, you know, worked 30, 40 hours a week. So maybe they can come along in this journey with me because it could be them too. You know, when I made my video to come down here, I just kind of, I, I, this was always passion of mine, but I made it and I was like, there's no way they're going to pick little Sarah from Hope, Michigan. You know what I mean? And then I got the call and everything and it, it's like, holy crap. And so I think they can maybe just relate to me and kind of follow me along with this journey. It's definitely a relatable story, uh, but it's it's not without its bumps in the road. You've had some troubles recently and some accusations leveled against you. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you have to say about those accusations? You know, um, I'm not going to address rumors. It is a competition, so people are going to say things to try to make you look bad, make them look better. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to move past it, not let the nasty gossip get to me. It's a competition. I'm here focused for that. The Divas Revolution in WWE seems to be about women coming together to support each other, but it certainly doesn't seem that way on Tough Enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's kind of sad, you know, because I generally get along with everybody. I'm all about girl power and working together. So, you know, it is what it is. Only one person gets to win, so people are going to try to do whatever they can to win it. So, If you do get eliminated from the show, what's your next move? My next move, um, definitely um, becoming a diva isn't over for me. There's no way I could ever go back to school to become an ultrasound technician. <laughs> so um, if it's over for me, which it won't be hopefully, um, I would pursue wrestling. I would go to a wrestling school to get better in the ring and everything like that. So. Well, now's your chance. I'm going to let you speak directly to the fans. Perfect. And let you have the final say <laughs> in them saving you. Awesome. Um, I'd just like to tell them that um, I'm not here just to put my name out there, you know, to promote something else of mine. I'm here to become a diva. If I don't win the contract, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go to a wrestling school. As soon as I get home and unpack my bags, I'm going to pack everything up and go. So if they vote for me, you know, it's not going to be for nothing. I'm going to take this seriously. There's nothing ever that I've wanted more than this. So... That's certainly really something. <laughs> Have you considered uh, a wrestling school to go to? I hear Brian Kendrick is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and Daria and Mott are out there, too, so that would be cool to join them. Um, there's one in New Jersey that my friend's actually at, um, the Monster Factory, so I've thought about that also because it would be cool because the, the guy who's training there I went to high school with, so... Have some old friends. Really here. sounds like you have a plan set. I do. I'm not. I'm not joking. But I hope that you don't get eliminated. It, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, Sarah, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. And I uh, want you to take care and be safe on that show. Thank you. I will. <laughs>